It's all about working smarter and not harder. Let's create favorites in Rasterlink 7 to shorten your print production process. Click along training. Remember, we're going to show you how to do it up here and you're going to recreate it on your computer and your raster link. So let's go over on how to create favorites. So the first thing that we're going to do is we want to create a favorite with our profile and quality settings for speed. So we have our image file selected. We're going to select Q for quality to change the quality settings. Let's set up a favorite for 600 by 600. So this is good. 600 by 600 DPI, 10 pass, one over print, bi-directional printing. I wouldn't change any of that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select the favorite shortcut icon. What I do with Mamaki, since the display is kind of wonky here, I got a huge display, is I expand it to make it as big as I can, just so I can see this whole box. <clears throat> In Mamaki Raster Link, whenever you see this plus, that means that you're going to have to enter text. So I'm going to enter this as the new, new UCJV 330 6x6. Six and I'm gonna select the plus key, which will create a new favorite name. That's all I did. I just created a new favorite name to name my favorite. So we wanna update the quality. So we click on Q and we can see down here, the default for the favorite is 12 by 12 with that matte PVC profile setting. Your job setup is six by six with the gloss profile. So we wanna put this information over here because here are the settings for your favorite. Okay, so here are the settings for what is gonna go here, which is selected. So we're gonna select this button, it's update favorite. Boom. So this information went here. And if you use this scroll down, you can see other settings that you can save as the favorite. Here's another tip. You know what this button will do? Create a hot folder. So we click that button and select create. What a hot folder does is it adds a Windows printer to Mamaki Raster Link or adds this favorite as a Windows printer. So if you're in Microsoft Word, you can hit File, Print, and you can print to raster link right out of Microsoft Word. Basically what it does is it sends that print job from Windows to this hot folder. Mamaki Raster Link is monitoring that hot folder, and it sees it as a job, and it's going to pre-process it and enter it into your Mamaki Raster Link print queue. So we have that one profile set up. We're gonna just select close. So now let's check it out. I'm just gonna type in printers. Here we go. Now you can see I've done this a few times. There we go. New, new UCJV 336 x six. So this is a printer in Windows. So you could print right out of Illustrator, right out of Corel, right out of Flexi, whatever your design package is, you could print and bypass the saving the file out. If you so chose, I don't do it that way, but, but some people like doing it that way. So we set up a virtual printer. Let's go ahead and do another one. So let's do 12 by 12. So the first thing you're gonna do is set your job to 12 by 12 DPI. Okay, Our, this job, now my profile is 12 to 12, 12 by 1200 DPI. We go to favorite. We're gonna input a name, right? So my name is gonna be UCJV 330 12 by 12 and select the plus over here. Okay, remember we haven't done anything yet. We just created the name. So you're gonna to go to this quality tab in the favorite dialog box. 
and then you're gonna update this information from job setup to this information, which is your favorite. Done. Now we click close to accept those changes. Let's say we wanna do something fun. And again, this is more advanced. So we're gonna do something fun. Is So we often print color clear matte ink and cut. So this is, right, color and cut here. So we're gonna print color, clear matte, and cut. But I do that a lot, so let's create a favorite. Let's check out how we create a favorite. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your resolution is set to the proper way that you can print clear ink for your specific printer, or white ink if you have a TXF. It, you know, it's, it depends on your specific printer. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select special plate. We'll do valid pixel, compose automatically to, to top. It really doesn't make a difference right now, but let's do it. So we just created an image file that'll print color and clear in one pass and then cut in the second. This is key. You have to choose that clear plate to do this. So I have that clear plate selected, that clear plate file selected, and I'm gonna to go to favorites. Here we are again, we know what we're doing here, right? UCJV 330, 12 by 12, clear matte. And hit the plus key to save that name only. So I have this name saved, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna set up my clear above it, right? And, and have it do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's go to quality. Let's check out the quality settings. I don't want 12 by 18, I want 12 by 12. And those settings are correct. And I'm putting this into this favorite. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my special plate. My special plate says that this job is a clear ink job, valid pixel, meaning where there's data only. So I'm gonna update that favorite. Here's the tricky part with raster link seven. I want automatic creation on. I want compose automatically on. Composition order top. Once you do that, this is set to your favorite. See, we, we updated the clear with clear ink, the valid pixel to valid pixel, and the execution here. So this is our favorite setting. Don't close the dialog box because it won't accept these changes. You have to click close here, and that's going to accept those changes. So I'm going to select close. Right on. All right, so why don't we do this? We're gonna go back to the properties and we still have our print queue in the middle, right? We're gonna drag and drop a file in here. So let's do this one. Let's do the Marines one. So I drag and drop it into my print queue and now we're gonna select UCJV 330 12 by 12 clear mat and select okay. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna pre-rip the job, bring it into the job queue. Then it's gonna create a clear plate mat above, above my color. So I'm gonna print color clear mat, and then cut. That's how easy it is to create favorites in Mamaki Rasterlink 7.